though the Trojans historically have been phenomenal in the second half, as we know. And the Trojans just dominated like the number one team, the back-to-back -back defending national champions that they are. And the Trojans celebrate 45 unanswered points after falling behind 13 to nothing. Trojans. And it's the Pac-10 opener today for the Trojans and the Oregon Ducks. FC is 2-0, ranked number one in the country for an AP record 22nd consecutive week. And they're looking for their 25th consecutive victory. The Trojan offense can't get frustrated, Pete, because it may be a very soft umbrella-like defense by the Ducks. They can't get frustrated because they're not scoring, you know, 4 TDs in a minute and 32 seconds like they did last week. Just be patient, take what they give you, and move the sticks and, and drive the football. Pre-game fanfare is over for the Oregon marching band and the fans await the re-emergence from their locker rooms of these two fine football teams. Yes! Go Ducks! That's some USC right there! <laughs> Chance. The excitement down here is, is, is amazing. I mean, this stadium, it echoes. It's a bold type of shape, and, you know, the fans sort of echoes off of, you know, each side of the of the hill here, sort of built into a hill type of environment. So it's a very loud stadium, the loudest stadium that the Trojans will have to play in this season. It is a complete sellout, a huge throng here. Paul getting ready for today's game. And that's as far as he'll go. First and ten. Oregon will have it from that spot at their own 21. First down for the Ducks. Aaron Knowles will punt for Oregon. High snap goes up to get it. That was close. Get the kick away. Bush watches it. Almost hit a Trojan. I think it did. And I think Oregon's got the ball at the 41-yard line. Let's see if it hit the Trojan or not. I think the Ducks came up with the ball, but whether or not it hit the Trojan or not remains to be seen. And of course, he comes up off the bottom of the pile with the ball. And they're trying to pile him right now to see who has the football. And will it be reviewed? Well, the Trojans recovered it at any rate, so it is a boot point at this point. We've got to be nervous when the ball is punted so short. Don't stand around the football. That was almost a golden opportunity there for the Ducks. Dwayne Jarrett and Reggie Bush off to the left side. Steve Smith to the right. The center is Ryan Khalil, and the noise is loud. And hold everything. They're going to review the play. The ball was 
touched by the Trojans, and it is Oregon's ball at the 41-yard line. Martinez for the field goal from the 27, a 37-yarder hash mark right. Kick is away, got the distance, looks pretty good. It is. And the Trojans give the Ducks their first three points of the day. Snap taken, pass, complete, in and out of the hand of Jarrett, and it's intercepted by Gibson. And he's running the other way to the 30, the 35, out of bounds at the 37. Off the hands of Jared, a sure touchdown for the Trojans. Turns into an interception return for Aaron Gibson, and the Ducks have the ball. How do you do? Witherspoon and Strong to the left. Throw and he's hit as he throws, but it's a touchdown, Oregon. Behind the coverage. Demetrius Williams with his fifth touchdown catch of the year, and the Ducks have a 9 to nothing lead, 36 yards. So that's what the Ducks are going to do. They love to sink you and dunk you, and then they take their shots to go downtown. It's a great throw under pressure by Kellen Clemens. Fourth and ten. Liner has time, throws behind Jarrett and out of bounds. Jarrett wouldn't have made any difference if he cut to the outside or the inside. The ball is thrown 12 yards out of bounds. Oregon takes over on down. Brady Leaf is the holder. Kick is blocked and short and a knuckleball and no good. So the Trojans got away with one there and will take over. It's still down. Here's another. Goal remains on the 